Hi, my name is Ethan Person, and I'm with Kids First, and today I'm reviewing the Pokemon Detective Pikachu movie, and today I have a special guest, Detective Pikachu, and he's going to help me review this movie. I loved it so much. It was just so funny with the visual effects, how they make humans and Pokemon come to life and just combine together. It's about a young man named Tim who has the adventures with a Pokemon named Detective Pikachu, and they're trying to solve a mystery about a family member and his family. It's pretty, it's pretty sad. My favorite scene was a part where there was these two giant Pokemon rock-looking things, and on their way to their adventure, they were stepping on his back, and when he woke up from a nap, he stood up, and it looked like Earth was just flying in the sky, so they were all scared, but he was just calm, and he's like, oh, a morning nap. <laughs> I'd say this is different from other Pokemon movies or TV shows because this one, Pikachu actually talks. And the comedy was so good. You know when they have Ryan Reynolds, it's always going to be good. He had to make it. But there was some dark humor or bad things for adults. But some of them were for kids, you know, because it's a Pokemon movie. It's supposed to be for kids. It's just so good. I loved it. I definitely give this 5 out of 5 stars because it is one of the best movies I have ever seen. Especially with Ryan Reynolds, oh my god, you have to see this. I'd recommend this ages 10 to 18, because like I said, Ryan Reynolds has some dark humor sometimes, and he has some really, really bad jokes. Again, I'm Ethan First and with Kids First, and I was joined by Pikachu, reviewing the Pokemon Detective Pikachu movie. And you can find this in theaters May 10th, so go watch it before you get spoiled by your friends. And I'll see you on the next episode. Goodbye! Get him! He's barely moving. Don't tell him that. Oh, he's on a bike. Quick, get in front of him. Stop. Oh, no. He's going down hard, Tim. Should have worn a helmet.